What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, I want to talk about how to quickly swap out components for other components inside of SketchUp. This method can be a huge time saver when you're changing things out like furniture and other repeating objects in your models. If you're looking for more great SketchUp tips, make sure you check out my SketchUp tips guide at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash tips. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this video is another video that demonstrates the importance of modeling with components rather than groups. And so what it's gonna allow us to do is it's gonna allow us to come in here and swap out multiple different objects for other objects inside of SketchUp. And that can be valuable, especially in the case of like these tables and chairs. Let's say that I wanted to swap out all of these different chairs inside of these models, or inside of this model with other chairs. Well, you could go in and you could just uh, uh, delete all of them and then uh, use copy paste or the move tool in copy mode in order to uh, in order to swap those manually but what we want to do is we want to do this a faster way and so the first thing that's going to be important is uh, I'm going to show you in my outliner but it's going to be important that each one of these is modeled as a copy of the same component and so what that means if you remember is that means if I change one of these like this you can see how all of them change and that's kind of a crude demonstration, but it shows you what it's supposed to do. So these all need to be copies of the same component. And so the way that you would initially set this up is you would just make sure that your first chair is a component and then you would make your copies around the table. And they'll show up in your outliner with little brackets around them, around the name, indicating that these are components. And so what we wanna do in this case is we wanna bring in a different chair. So once that chair is in the model, then it'll show up in your component section in the in model section then you can do some interesting stuff with this so we're going to start by just going into the 3d warehouse so just go to window 3d warehouse and you're going to look specifically for this chair model by acorn and you can find other models as well if you want them but in this but we're just going to talk about this particular model for this example so i'm just going to click the download button and i'm just going to bring that into my model and once I bring that into my model, what I can do is I can swap out copies of components with this chair model. So the way that's gonna work is we're gonna go in and um, you're gonna go into the component section of your tray. So in your default tray, there should be a section called components. If there isn't, you can go up to window, default tray and make sure components is turned on. But as you scroll through, you can see how this is going to show you copies of all the different components that you have in your model. Notice that these are components, not groups. So if you have something grouped, but you haven't named it as a component, it's not gonna show up in here. But what we wanna do is you can see how if you right click on one of these, it gives you a few different options, such as select instances and replace selected. And the first thing you're gonna notice with something like this is you can't select your instances of your first chair model because they're inside of a group. So you can only select instances inside of the active group that you're in. So we're just going to double click into this group until we get to the point where we can select each one of these chairs individually. And so since these are all instances of the same component, I can actually right click on this and I can click select instances. And you can see how that's going to select all the different copies of this chair inside of your model. And so once they're all selected, as long as they're components, you can find another component like this chair that we brought in by Acorn. And it renamed this because I had two um, components in here named chair. But this model is also named chair. But this chair by Acorn, if I now come in with these selected and I right click on that, and click replace selected, you can see how that's gonna swap out all the different copies of your chair. The one thing you're gonna notice is because of the way this is oriented, these chairs don't look exactly right. And that's just due to the orientation of um, the axes inside of each one of these. But all we have to do because these are components is we can just double click in here and I'm just gonna do a control A and then I'm gonna tap the Q key and I'm just gonna rotate this chair 90 degrees. And so when I rotate this chair 90 degrees, you can see how now I have a different set of chairs in here than I had before. So this can be used for a lot of different things, but you can see how easy it is to swap out components for other components inside of your models. And so once we're done with this, we can erase out this model right here and we're good to go. 
So that's where I'm gonna end this video. I, th I think I'm gonna do some more quick tip videos just like this one, just to keep you up to date on all the tips that you can use to save time inside of SketchUp. But leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Did you know about this trick? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.